In this video, we're going to have a look at how the relay switch works. And the actual relay switch is here. And we have two circuits. And the first circuit, which is my low voltage circuit, which is represented by this battery, goes from the battery to the switch, from the switch to here, and from here back to here. But these two terminals are connected to these points on here, and this is a long coil. And so when a current flows through that, it turns this into an electromagnet. And our second circuit, which might be a high current or high voltage circuit that we don't really want to touch the switch of, or it might be that we're trying to use a computer to control this, which can only supply a small current, and we want a separate power supply which can supply a large current. And so I've got a circuit that goes from the power supply to this bulb, then from the bulb into the uh, this part of the circuit, which is um, the actual switch part of the circuit, and then back to the power supply. And first of all, I'm going to show you what it looks like in the big picture. So if I press this switch, then current flows around this circuit, turns this into an electromagnet, which attracts the <clears throat> bit here towards here, which then pushes the switch closed, which then completes the circuit in the high current circuit here and turns on the light bulb. So that was the zoomed out picture. So let's now zoom in on exactly what's happening uh, on the relay down My here. two connections to this long coil are here. And when current flows from the low current circuit, in my case the battery, into here, it will turn this into an electromagnet, which will then attract this bit of iron towards the end of the coil. And when that bit of iron is attracted towards the end of the coil, it will then cause this armature lever to push this way and then close the switch up here. And when those two contacts move together, it will complete the circuit. So let's try um, doing that now. 